What up? It's your boy Blaze back with another video, man. Uh, the KS8000 Uncharted 4. I see, listen, man. People have been asking me for my settings forever now. Even for my old third TV. And the fact of the matter is, other than certain essential settings you must have, everything else is preference. Now, I see people with their backlight. Their backlight is down to fucking 9 and 10 and, and, you know, whatever, 12, 15. Listen, people, I'm telling you right now. I mean, I'm telling you right now. Let's, let's go see something. Mine's on 20. You understand? Now I'm going to show you something. When this is in game mode, okay, game mode is constraining your fucking video. It's dimming down everything. Colors, sh shutting things off it doesn't need to give, to give a good input lag, understand? So what you should be doing is putting it in movie mode. Don't touch it once it's in movie, movie mode. Go ahead and turn it back on to game mode. And then from there, adjust your colors. Because as soon as you switch from movie mode to game mode, it's going to reset everything you had put on movie mode. Okay? But they're skipping that. Anyway, but the point of the video is people talking about, you know, HDR is playing. Listen, yes, your TV will give you a notification saying HDR is being played. And on older models, it's not even going to give you that. On, on older Samsung models, it won't even give you the notification in the top left screen that an HDR video is playing. But if you don't ramp up your backlight to at least 19, 20, 18 the bare minimum. 18 the bare minimum. You're losing. You're not getting true HDR. And there's no other way to put it right there. I'm, I'm telling you right now, you can you can say whatever you want. You can think whatever you want. You are not getting true HDR. Even if your TV says it's playing. Of course it says it's playing. For instance, my TV said HDR is playing. Okay? Let's see if I can... It's on game mode. Now, now let's see if I can do this. Pay attention, okay? To these leaves. People got on six, seven, okay? To me, you're not getting true HDR unless you're at, I mean, even 17, okay, but that's it, okay? With game mode. Now, if you're not using game mode um, and you're on movie mode, okay? Make sure I, if you're on movie mode, fine. But if you're on game mode, the backlight must be ramped up this is essential for true hdr i don't there's no other way to twist it you know yes you're not losing color by bringing your backlight down you're not okay your color is always going to be there the color is not going to change from bringing down the backlight okay it's not you have a 10-bit panel or 8-bit panel well you can't really you know hdr true hdr is with a 10-bit panel we're talking Samsung here, okay? But you guys, you gotta, I know the TV is a bright TV, but this is only for certain games, okay? Uncharted, Last of Us, Infamous, Second Son, Ratchet and Clank, Final Fantasy, NBA 2K17. I'm just throwing a few names out there that use HDR, you understand? And this level especially is unfucking believable for it. I mean, look at this. So, are you losing HDR when you bring your backlight down to 10 and 12 and 13? To me, you're not getting true HDR, okay? And and not even to, not even to reference Digital Foundry, but if you watch their video, they'll also tell you Backlight needs to be all the way up to have HDR work properly. 
You know what I'm saying, guys? I mean, listen, I don't like my backlight all the way up. I, I don't. I, you know, it's this TV, especially in my bedroom, is so fucking bright. But to me, I love the bright screen. It's just sometimes I'm not in the mood for it. Sometimes I just, you know, I'll dim it down. Depends on what I'm doing. But if I'm playing Uncharted, a game that's using ACR, there's no way in hell I'm going to have to deal with it. You understand? So, movie mode. From movie mode, throw it to game mode. From game mode, your contrast is going to be all the way up at 100 or 90. You'll see right away once you turn it to uh, UHD color. The contrast just ramps up regardless. Okay? For brightness, it's to this is all... Listen. Other than this for HDR, this is preference. Brightness. Okay? Color is all preference. It doesn't matter. If you like a more saturated look, you like a more natural look, it's all up to you. Okay? Sharpness, again, I'd rather have it at zero. I bet I've been keeping it at 10, and I feel like 10 is good. Another thing, smart LED cannot shred. This needs to be on high. Dynamic contrast. Personally, check this out. You see this? Look at this. Just it looks completely. Now, if you have this on high, okay, dynamic contrast on high, and you want to bring your backlight down to to eighteen. Or 17 okay I, I could see you getting away with it but still I mean still to me you need that you know another thing I've been seeing warm too and this and that listen it doesn't matter if you're playing in a sports game if you're playing a fucking uncharted action adventure warm one warm two standard cool check the cool is my favorite everybody that has this TV Switch to dynamic, take it off game mode and put dynamic mode and look how vivid and fucking colorful the screen is, okay? Why? Because it uses cool, okay? You cannot tell somebody to put warm, put warm one, put, this is all preference. This is all what you feel looks good. What you think is natural, what you think looks good, what do you, you know, this is all preference. Again, guys, I have it on warm too. Right now, but to be honest, I like cool for Gears of War for the blue, the blue lights and all the lighting in that game that it emits. I use cool, it looks it suits it so much better. But this is again, guys, this is all your taste. I cannot, I cannot stress that enough. This is nothing to do with what you know if it's a, a certain type of game. This is your taste, man. This is this is what you like to see, what, what's catchy for your eye. You understand. Again, in color space, this is this is really important. I have it on auto because I have not calibrated my TV. People think cal listen, people, calibrating your TV doesn't mean this. This is like the standard. I guess you can call it calibrating. I guess I mean, but you're not truly calibrating your TV. Until you go into this. Until you go into color space. And change this. You understand? Then you're truly calibrating your TV. So I have not. Because the colors on the KS8000. Out of the box. Are so goddamn good. And they get better. Once you calibrate your TV. They get a lot better. Say... Say out of the box, the colors are a 9.0, and when you calibrate it, they, they bump up to a 9.8, 9.9. It's extremely, it's that much better when you calibrate it. That much better. But that this is just a little quick, uh, you know, people, you know, like I said, do what you want to do, play how you want to play, adjust your colors, adjust your backlight, your brightness on whatever you want to do. To me, 33 is a little too bright, but I've, I've, I've come accustomed to it, and I like it, you know? Backlight, when you're playing an HDR game, okay, a game that supports HDR, you must have the backlight up, okay? 
I'm telling you no lower than 17 or, you know, even like, I, you know, hey, don't take my word for it. You can, you can, you can think all you want, you know, play all you want, enjoy it. Anybody that has a 4K TV and HDR uh, capable TV, you know, enjoy it. I bought a 50 inch SUHD, it was a 7000 series from Samsung, it's in my living room, it's the TV I, I made my previous videos on, and Samsung had sold me with nano crystals. Nano crystals have been changed to quantum dot color, okay, they're, they're essentially the same goddamn thing. I went with a Samsung because the quality, the screens are incredible, the colors are incredible. Using HDR on my Samsung compared to my cousin, and he has an LG. It's not an OLED. It's an LED, LG. To me, my TV looks 10 times better, and he'll admit the same thing. So, I went with a Samsung because I've had Samsungs for the past three TVs, okay? My other friend, he lives by Sony. And, and when I go over his house and he's playing, I mean, he's playing a game like Fallout. My jaw drops. I'm like, wow. Something about Sony. They got nice colors. But like I said, LG, Sony, Samsung, you can't go wrong. And people, yes, is Vizio a budget TV? Yeah. But every company has budget 4K TVs. Every company. Just because you get a Samsung and it's a 4K TV does not mean... That it's this high-end TV. You know, uh, there's plenty of Samsungs out there with 4K, but they have no HDR. Or, or it says that you have HDR, but it's really not true HDR. Okay? Man, I recommend the TV. Man. I, 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 just the remote, the ease of use. It's so snappy fast. You, you can't go wrong. Okay, if you're gonna get into the market and buy a 4K TV, I've I've told I've I've said this before. LG, Sony, Samsung. My opinion, go with a Samsung and get a 2016 model, 8000, the KS 8000 or above. Okay, and get and get a big screen, man. You'll appreciate it much more. Everything, the clarity on a big screen, and I know that might sound you know, opposite to a lot of people, but trust me, coming from a 50 inch to a 60 inch, wow, it's, 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 it just immerses you more, man, it's like, you're there, you know, but that's all, just a quick little video about, you know, the reasons why I went with a Samsung, you know, I, I can't recommend it enough, man, you know, so, it's your boy Blaze, I might have some extra filling random shit after this, after I cut this, but I'll haul at you guys later. Go ahead and shit your fucking pants. Go ahead. Oh, are you kidding me? And people ask me why I go with a Samsung. There you go. There's why. And this is not even gonna do it justice, brother. Trust me. Wow.